Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. Today we are working with Ice Show Hair. They sent me over this 30 inch water wave wig. Let's get into it. This wig does come pre-plucked as you can see. And the lace is transparent, I want to say. Yeah, I think it's transparent lace. This is a 13 by 6 wig. You do get three combs in the inside and an adjustable strap on the bottom as well. This is a beautiful texture. It was so soft. Like, I loved it. Like, I'm so ready to install this wig. Let's get into it. We are using the Ruby Kisses RDF 11, the level 11, the darkest shade in that palette. And we've already applied it to her cap, but we're gonna apply it to the back and the top, the bottom and the top of the lace. This is transparent lace in my uh, model. She does have a brown tint to her face. So I wanted to make sure that we went ahead and added the makeup before we glued it down. Now, if this was HG lace, I would have just glued it down with no makeup applied at first, but this is transparent and you know, the lace is thicker. So go ahead and add your color to that lace so that way you don't have any issues. Now we're just going to position the wig and then we're going to sew it down. I'm smoothing back my glue and I'm going to let it turn clear before I apply another coat. I did four layers of glue today. That fourth layer is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and lay my lace down. The base for this hairstyle is the middle part, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into place. Then I'm going to tie her down with the elastic band for about 10 minutes. And before I do tie her down, I want to show y'all how much parting space and how much this wig is giving scalp. Because, like, girl, get into it. But, yeah, we're just going to tie that wig down for 10 minutes. Um, you could put her up under the dryer or you could just let it, you know, naturally air dry. I did watercolor this hair jet black off camera, bleach the knots, and pluck the hairline. Those 10 minutes are up, so now it's time to cut out that excess lace using our eyebrow razor.
Now we're using our She's Bum Collection Wax Stick and our hot comb just to lay her hair down and get it flat. And then we're gonna separate out our hairs for our baby hairs and proceed to melt that lace with our Hair Flex hairspray. And then we're going to tie this down for about 5 to 10 minutes as well. And once we come back from those 5 to 10 minutes, we're going to proceed to cut our baby hairs. Um, we're going to hot comb them first, cut them with our eyebrow razor. Then we're going to curl them with our pencil flat irons. And then we're going to swoop them with our mousse and our edge brush and then tie them down. That was a mouthful. <laughs> but y'all, you have to really like put in that work on them baby hairs because they can literally make or break your hairstyle. And as always, if you do not want baby hairs, just slick everything straight to the back and call it a day. <laughs>
After being up under a hot dry for 20 minutes, her baby hairs are dry. And we're gonna go ahead and customize those off camera. And now it's time to do our styles. So we're gonna do two uh, under braids or, or French braids. Um, whatever you call them. It's where the braid like sits inside of itself instead of on top. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that right now. I also tried to low key like stitch it as well. Um, I can't explain how to braid this. You just gotta I already know. But basically, you're just gonna do a braid where the braid is like inside of itself instead of sitting on top. This isn't like your normal um, what they call it Dutch braid or um, over braid. This is an under braid, and you can tell the difference because it just looks different. Like the braid literally sits inside of itself. Um, and we're just going to do, uh, one on each side of the part, um, kind of going in the slanted motion. And then I'm going to show you how we hide it, um, in between the hairs so you don't see, like, um, the end of the, um, braid. So, yeah, just watch. You see how the braid is sitting inside of itself? Yes, and it's super neat. Girl, the part already on fleet. This wig was giving scalp, honey. Okay, I laid this down. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna basically like split the wig in half. You're gonna grab your braid and you're gonna grab a piece of hair like um, in the back middle of the wig. And you're just gonna rubber band that together. And after you rubber band that together, you're just going to drop the hair on top. As you can see, I just tried to check it right there to make sure like it was going to cover the braid. And that's all I do. I rubber band it together um, and I um, comb out the braid, the, the tail of the braid, um, you know, beneath the rubber band because, you know, it don't need to be braided. And I just drop the hair on top over it and it be hidden. So that's how I hide it. And as you can see, it's hidden just like that. And we're gonna do the same process to the other side. Now we're gonna take our lot of body foaming mousse and we're gonna define these water waves. So I decided not to actually wet the wig with my spray bottle. I was just like, girl, we're gonna do a quick method. Just take some mousse and we are gonna put it on that hair and finger comb it through and then we are gonna be good to go. So as you can see right now, I'm just applying the foaming mousse liberally and I'm using my fingers to run through the hair. And as you can see, it's waving right on up. Um, the wig just got um, that brushed out look because, you know, I was maneuvering it a lot. Um, but once you put mousse or any type of product or you wet it down 
those waterways get right back to fine and this is such a pretty texture i'm actually going to show you the difference between when it's like in its natural state kind of like brushed out versus the defined look with the um, mousse and as you can see like yeah those water waves are very beautiful and it doesn't take much to get them defined so i love this this is a perfect low maintenance wig this is a perfect vacation wig just 10 out of 10. let's do a quick recap Once again, this is a 30 inch water wave unit from I Show Hair. Be sure to check the description box below for all information and links to purchase this wig and also all my social media platforms. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you turn on those notification bells and subscribe. Love you. Goodbye.